Hey everybody, welcome back to another My PTA video. So in this video, we're going to be doing a live follow along for basically a Parkinson's routine. So first things first, this is not medical advice. This is just honestly a class project we're doing. So if you or someone you know has Parkinson's, don't take this as the word of God straight from my mouth. It's just a follow along routine. Some of these exercises are gonna be really good in helping someone who does have Parkinson's, or it's just a really good routine to do on your off days. Get some stretching, some rotation in, it'd be good. So follow along if you're ready, let's do this. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna be doing is a seated neck roll. So I'm gonna do a couple sets, about two sets here of five reps in each way. So with me, follow along. So we'll start here, and rotate to the side, and that's one, two, make sure you're counting nice and loud, three, four, and five. Now we'll go the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Wiggle out a little bit. We're going to do that one more time. So the other way now. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. All right. Last round. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good. We're going to move on to the next exercise. This next exercise is going to be some simple yeses and nos with our heads. So we did rotation now, kind of moving it around. Now, like, like it sounds, we're going to nod our head yes, all the way up and all the way down for five reps. Good. And now we're going to do nose all the way. Feel a good stretch in your neck all the way. One. Make sure we're breathing all the way through. Don't hold your breath. Two. Three. In. And out. Four. Last one. So the next exercise we're gonna do is with our mouth. So we're gonna just do some simple uh, smiles and frowns. We're gonna open and close our mouth. So it's kind of working some of those facial muscles. So follow along with me. So smile, big smile, and frown. And, and smile, and frown. So on this one, we're gonna make a silly face. So make a silly face however you want. Move your face all around. Feel those weird muscles. Cool. All right. Now we're going to open our mouth big and wide. Ah, and close. We're going to do that three more times. So big open. As wide as you can. Last one. Ah. Good. All right. So the next exercise we're going to do, we're just going to move our shoulders around. So getting a little bit of fluid in those joints. So start with these arm circles. Just a little bit bigger as we go. Now go the other way. Start small and get bigger as we go. We're just rotating our arms in our sockets. As you can see, my hands are not moving. I'm just rolling my shoulders. Good, all right, shake it out a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do big circles with our arms, but once again, we're gonna start small. So out to the side, start small, going forward. We're just gonna get a little bit bigger as we go. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Now big, big circles now for one, two, all the way to five, three, four, and five. Good, now we're gonna do the same, but backwards. So once again, start small. Make sure we're breathing, don't hold your breath. So small little circles, getting bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger. Try to all the way back, reach back behind you. Bigger circles still. Big, big circles last all the way big. Five, four, three, 
two, last one, biggest circle yet. Oh, I am done. All right, this next exercise we're gonna do is called swimmers. So we're basically gonna lean forward in our chair and we're gonna reach out one at a time. And then we're gonna alternate arms. So follow along with me, count out loud. We're gonna do five reps here on each side. Ready? One. Two. Good, keep reaching, reach as far as you can. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, last ones. Nine, and all the way out, all the way, all the way, all the way. 10, awesome. Okay, so for this next exercise, the chops, I'm gonna get my ball here. So any good old fashioned beach ball will do. You can find these anywhere, honestly. Walmart, five below, anything. Honestly, your PT might have given you one. So hopefully they do. If not, just go grab something lightweight that you can grab onto. So for the chops, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our left side. We're gonna do five reps. So we're gonna start here and go all the way across and up as far back behind us as we can. So once again, we're gonna do five reps. Follow along and count with me. One, and back down. Two, good. All the way down and all the way up. Three, two more. Four, last one, all the way down, reaching far back. And all the way up, far back behind you, five. Good, all right, now we're gonna do the other side. So same thing, just go in the other direction. So once again, five reps, count along with me, nice and loud. So down, all the way back behind you, and all the way up, one. Two, make sure you're breathing. In. Out. Three. Good. Two more. Four. And last one. Five. Reach, 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 reach. Good. Okay. Great work so far. Now we're going to take a little bit of a break for a second. Get our breath back to normal. Probably a pretty decent endurance workout. I've got the heart rate up a little bit. So I'm going to go put my ball back. Take a drink of water, breathe, shake out the limbs a little bit. All right, take a few more seconds here. Good. Let's take a few breaths, all right? In, hold it, and out. One more breath. Big breath in. Hold it, and out through the mouth. Good. So now we're gonna move on to an exaggerated sit to stand. So we're gonna take a nice wide base here. My feet are pointed at the heels or at the legs of this chair. I've got a nice upright posture. And when we stand up, we're gonna to wanna to go as wide as we can, making a big X with our body. So follow along with me. We're gonna do five reps here. So. Ready? Up. One. And back down. And up. Two. Good. Back down. As wide as we can. Up. Three. Reaching far back behind. Good. Two more. Four. Last one. We're going to stay standing on this one, all right? And five. Good. Reach, 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 reach. Hold it, hold it. All the way back, good. Okay, here All right, go. so this next exercise, we're gonna pretend we have a speed bag in front of us. So we're gonna get warmed up because we're gonna do some punches after this. So I'm gonna count down from 10 to start. We're gonna go forward for 10 seconds, then we're gonna rest, shake it out a little bit, and then we're gonna go backwards for 10. So speed bags is one of those little, like uvula looking, looking things that dangles in front of you. All you're gonna do is rotate your hands like this out in front of you. So follow along with me and I'm gonna count down from 10. Three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Now we're going to do the other way. All right. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, almost there. Three, two, one. Good. All right. All right, now we're good and warm. So I'm going to get a TheraBand now. So I'll give you a moment and get a TheraBand. You can pause the video if you don't have one. Go get one. I'm sure your PT clinic gave you one. Uh, if you're in a lab or something, you can go get one now too. So like I said, you can pause the video and we'll get started. So we're gonna do TheraBand punch and jabs here. So to start, you're gonna grab a little outside of shoulder width. You're obviously your tension is going to vary a little bit, but you're going to grab slightly outside of shoulder width. I'm going to wrap this around us here. So as you can see, it's in the small of my back and I've got my hands wrapped firmly around it. So what we're going to do is to start, we're going to do right hand cross bodies. So I'm going to step with my left, punch with my right. Then we're going to come back and we're going to keep doing that. Okay. So let's do five of those. Ready? Count with me. One, big punch. Two, three, four, last one, five. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing now, but on the other side. So we're gonna step with the right, and punch across with our left. So let's go, five. One, count with me. Two, three, Four. Last one. Big punch. Five. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to alternate punches. So we're just going to punch one, two. All right. Alternate. One, two. We're going to do that ten times. Ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We're gonna do one more set of each of these. So we're gonna do the crossbody jabs, going to the left this time, all right? So once again, step the left, throw with the right. Five, ready? One, two, three, four. Last one, five. All right, we're gonna go this way now, ready? One, two, three, four. Last one, five. All right, good, last set, 10 reps. Remember, alternate. Ready, here we go, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, all right, so now we're gonna ditch the bands. So set those off to the side. And we're gonna do what I like to call Mario marches. So. We're gonna raise our right leg and our left arm up like we're punching the block. So big, tall step with a big, tall punch at the same time. And then we're gonna alternate. So it's gonna look like this. All right, ready? We're gonna do two sets of five reps on each side. So 10 total, ready? Follow along. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And if this is too tough, feel free to grab onto the chair. So if my left hand is going up, I can use this for support and do these all on one side first. And then turn and do the other side. Although standing is more of a challenge, but if it's too challenging, feel free to go to this version. So if you're following along, as you should be, we're gonna do the last set of 10 reps total. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. All right, good job. Good work, everybody. So we're gonna take a little bit of a water break. So grab your water, 
take a sip, relax for a little bit. We're gonna move on next to what I call disco fever, boogie nights, whatever you wanna call it. You could probably guess what we're doing, or at least what it's gonna look like, but go ahead, take a drink of water, catch your breath for a little bit. All right, so once again, we're gonna to wanna to try to do these unassisted if we can. However, if it's too difficult, you can once again regress to the chair. So I'll show what both of these are gonna look like. So as the name implies, we're gonna be getting our dance on in this one. So I'm here and there. So this is what it looks like on this side. And then for the other side, And so if that's too challenging and the balance is too much, feel free to once again, use the chair for support. So it'd be here, like this, on the other side. So we're gonna do 10 reps again, total. So we'll do five on one side and then we'll switch over. So follow along with me for whichever one is easiest, but most challenging for you. So, all right, ready? We're gonna start. Right arm goes up, left arm goes out. Five reps, we're gonna do two sets here. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, other side. Try to make it as big and as wide and as long as big stretch as you can, all right? One, two, three, four, and five. Good. All right, we're gonna do the other side now. Five reps, ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right, last side, ready? Five more. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good job. All right, so this is gonna be our next to last exercise, our last big movement exercise. The last exercise we do is gonna be a little bit of a cool down. So. This is a rotational throw. So if you have a ball, cool, use it. If not, I can show a modification. So depending on which arm we're using, so say I'm using my left arm, we'll use the beach ball for demonstration. My left arm is gonna come down. So the seat is gonna be facing away from the side that I'm throwing with. And then that left leg, so my throwing hand, is gonna go back so that way we can rotate. But if you don't have an exercise ball, it's completely okay. What we can do instead is pretend like we're throwing. So left leg still goes back. We're gonna reach down and we're gonna rotate around as if we're throwing a ball. So don't just kind of turn. You wanna make it a big powerful swing. So I'm not gonna use the ball, so I'm not chasing it around. But if you are at home and you're in a controlled environment, feel free to use the ball. It's actually a little bit better sensory adaptation, you get a little bit more feedback from it, how hard you're throwing it. But we're gonna do five reps on each side. So once again, I'm gonna throw with my left hand. So left leg goes back, reach down and throw. Good. We'll do four more reps here. So reach down and throw. Three more. Good, two more. Reach all the way down, try to rotate, and big turn, good. Last one, reach down, and big turn, good. And so, for this last round, I will show what it looks like with the ball. But once again, this is not necessary at all. You don't have to do it with the ball. I just like doing it with the ball because it gives a little bit better feedback for me. So, seat facing away from me, right leg goes back. Left arm comes down, or I'm sorry, right arm comes down. We're gonna do five reps again. So, ready? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Good. All right, so now, we're gonna move on to our corpse pose. So, savasana, if anybody does yoga in here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna grab some real estate, pause the video here if you need to grab a yoga mat, get some area for you to just basically lay down. So, it's gonna be exactly that. We're gonna get down, 
on the ground. And we're going to lay down on our back. If you need the chair for assistance, feel free to use it to get down on the ground. So, going down, using the chair as necessary. So, I'm going to move this chair out of the way now. I'm going to roll slowly and gently and controlled down onto my back. From here, what I want you to do is bring everything into a ball nice and big. Nice big ball. And I want you to just stretch out. Let everything fall where it may. Try to create a big starfish. We're just going to listen to our breath here. So in. session today. Got a lot of good exercises in. Make sure we're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let your arms and legs just fall down. Big breath in. if you have the time to just lay here as long as you'd like to. If you don't have any responsibilities, take a nap, honestly. Rest is so, no pun intended, but rest is slept on for recovery. We definitely need rest and recovery from all the stuff we do through the day and we're just go, go, go. We don't ever rest enough. But take this time and rest as long as you're allowed or able to. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you got something out of this. Maybe you share it, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, do all the things, and, and let me know what you thought about this video. So I'm just going to lay here, uh, and we'll just uh, see you in the next one. Bye.